Hi, she was seven. I'm back. So I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know that I appreciate you watching. And if, um, you know, you want to comment, that's fine. I don't mind any comments. I welcome them all. I don't delete comments. So feel free. Uh, I know a lot of guys are commenting negative things on some of my videos, even downloading my videos and uploading them on Facebook. Um, I don't know, but whatever. I just say that, you know, I don't really pay attention to opinions of people that don't benefit me in the long run. Like, there's nothing a broke man can tell me that's going to benefit me, so... Um, I enjoy going back and forth in the comments and trolling with you guys because, you know, I like doing that every so often. But like I said, your comments really don't do anything for me. All, you know, they, they kind of do benefit me in a way because of YouTube, but that's about it. So um, do what you got to do. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me as y'all can go look at my old videos and see that I don't erase comments. Um, it just, I am, I'm the type of person that really does not care as long as, you know, it benefits me. So whatever you comment, that's fine. Y'all can argue in the comment section. I don't care. <laughs> um, you know, life is good for me, but, um, I'm just, you know, I just think it's hilarious that people take stuff so seriously. Like most of the broke men will come on the videos and be mad at women who want more out of life and more out of their men and expect more out of their men but i mean everybody's got to be mad at something right might as well be that um but i don't have those kind of issues because uh, i don't i never dealt with guys like that except for when i was a teenager or, or yeah very early 20s maybe 21 i stopped dealing with broke guys after 21 i was done i was like Psh, i'm done um so, you know, I really don't have a lot to say about them because I really haven't dealt with them in, you know, over 10 years, over 15 years, actually. So it's a, it's a refreshing to see that they haven't changed and, I, um, <laughs> and the way that they comment and uh, the way that they are hurling insults. Uh, if you notice, a broke man will always insult a woman's looks and her weight. Why? Because he can't afford to feed her or buy her nice things to make her look better. So that's what he's going to insult first because he can't afford to do any of those things for her. Um, so by definition, a broke man's woman should be ugly and skinny and starving because he can't afford to feed her or, you know, give her nice things or pay bills so she can afford to make herself look nice. That's how she should look. Um... <laughs> So they, you know, they get mad and they really hate when a woman can do, um, you know, what they can't do, which is stay home and not work and live a good life. They hate that. So they call you lazy. Okay. Another thing that they're going to hate on is the fact that, <laughs> that your husband or your man is a simp. They wish they could be simps because that would mean they have money. Okay. And, and a woman. So, you know, you have to kind of read between the lines. Um, they say they went their own way, but they're still on our videos. They're still complaining. Like, if you went your own way, you shouldn't even be complaining. You should be gone. You should be with your man, you know, or by, with your robot or with your doll or with your hand. That's where you should be. Uh, <laughs> but I guess it's kind of hard because of all the movies and society and stuff like that especially around the holidays, making people want to be coupled up. And so this is when the MGTOWs get real mad around the holidays because they don't have nobody to bring home to meet mama. They don't have nobody to exchange gifts with. And they don't have anybody to sit by the fireplace and drink hot chocolate with. They're getting antsy right about now because fall is coming up. They don't have nobody to spend the holidays with. So they're, they're mad. Um, and they're lonely and they're going to get depressed this time of year. They're probably going to drink a lot and stuff like that. So um, I can understand why 
things are getting so, you know, volatile, especially in the comments, because it's about that time. And, you know, I got my husband, I got my kids, I got my nice fireplace, my nice cozy home. I got chocolate, hot chocolate, marshmallows. Yes, I do. I, yes, I eat. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm married. I've been married for so long. I can eat now. Okay. I don't have to suck in and eat salads and drink water. <laughs> I've been married. I ain't got no prenup. He ain't going nowhere. Okay. Uh, so if y'all are commenting, I'm fat. Yes, I know I'm fat. I enjoy being this weight. I love it. It means I don't have to worry about eating a cupcake and feeling guilty about it. I love eating cupcakes. I will eat cupcakes every day if I could. Okay. That doesn't change anything. I'm still going to have the life I have. Okay. Uh, <laughs> y'all act like uh, women that have weight on them can't get a man. Okay. I got my man. Y'all should see my wedding pictures. I was about 10 pounds less than this when I got married. Okay. So ain't no big deal. Uh, and so was he. <laughs> 10 pounds. That's not a lot. You know, I can, and you can lose 10 pounds in two weeks. Anyway. So as I was saying, yes, I'm sorry that, uh, a lot of people got offended in the comments like ladies don't don't type back to these guys they're angry they're broke wouldn't you be mad if you didn't have no money or no woman or a man and um women like look at you like a bug because of you know what you can't offer her we would be mad too i mean if i was a man in today's society i'm not gonna lie if i was a man in today's society i would be mad because it requires work it requires hard work it requires stamina it requires balls it requires motivation it requires strength and as a woman i don't have that i don't i mean i do but not to the extent where i would want to be a man you know i that's a lot of responsibility and it takes a real man to step up and do those things which is why when you find one hold on to it and it's rare and it's beautiful and it's masculine and it's a turn on and it's like dang i mean i could do all of that stuff you know and and it's great it's a great feeling and your children will grow up looking at that and only wanting that in their spouse they're not going to go for losers okay they're not going to go for men who act like you know little boys they're gonna only this they're gonna be like well no my dad didn't do any of that my dad didn't play video games my dad took out the trash my dad paid all the bills my dad bought my mom a car my dad bought my mom a house my dad did this so they're already automatically instilled with high standards they're not gonna take the BS from you know certain men they're just gonna be like no um, so yeah also, you know, you'll see a lot of these MGTOW guys start changing their profile name and not commenting and going to their alias around the holidays so they can try to get a woman, okay? I know your game. And they're going to fall in love and or they're going to find a woman who makes them change everything about themselves and make them a better person. They're going to be spending money and they're going to delete that account, change that name or or whatever, you know, we are we already know how it goes. As soon as one gets a woman, it's over. Okay, um, but right now they're in their angry stage because they don't have the correct motivation to motivate motivate themselves to do better, to please women, because men are here to please women. If you think about it, in the ancient times, the only motivation man had was hunger, right, and thirst. So after they ate, after they drank. They didn't want to do much else, okay? But when a woman came along and they saw that woman, they found a new motivation, you know, sex, okay? And this is what men want from women. Sex and after sex, then they want companionship, okay? So if you meet a guy and all they want is sex, they're still in their primal phase. They're still in their primal phase. And after they get one taste, if you give them a little bit, just not even a taste, but just a little bit and then back off, that's their motivation, okay? Don't even give it to them all the way. Let them think they almost got it. And then tell them what they need to do to finish getting it, okay? Because men need to be motivated to become great, okay? You can't get a lazy man off the street and give something to him freely 
and expect him to be motivated to please you okay so ladies don't give nothing for free ever and always know that you're the man's motivation to become greater mgtow i know you don't understand because y'all are mediocre to the fullest so this is not for you this is for the ladies okay we know y'all don't understand what it is to be you know above mediocre we know that you don't care to understand that because you have no motivation because no women are interested in you why because you are almost just like a woman and unless they're lesbians or very desperate they're not going to be attracted to you because you're too feminine all right i'll see y'all later bye